Hello all, I would like to welcome you to the lecture series of sensors and transducers. In this video, we are going to discuss what are the types of signal conditioning devices or what are the different types of signal conditioning unit. In the previous session, I have discussed about the need for signal conditioning. Now let's have a brief discussion on two type of signal conditioning device such as DC signal conditioning device and AC signal conditioning device. First of all, I will, I will take you where the position of signal conditioning device uh, in the particular system, measurement system. In case of electronic instrumentation system, we can, everybody can see that there, there should be a sensor, correct, sensor or transducer, whatever it may be. Uh, directly if you get the information from the sensor, uh, that may not be uh, in a proper form. What you are supposed to do is, you need to provide the suitable strength for the signal, you need to amplify such kind of processor generally called as signal conditioning process because the definitely output of sensor that will be totally weak that may not be in a proper form okay uh, that may be in the form of ac or the the output the amplitude is very less so you cannot able to observe you cannot able to take it out in a proper uh, processing so what you are supposed to do is you need to provide the amplifier you need to use the amplifier so amplifier is one of the example of signal conditioning device correct now, in order to store or in order to record or in order to uh, connect to the computer, we have to still again we have to do the further processing such as we need to convert analog to digital or uh, digital to analog vice versa. Where these kind of ADC, then DAC, etc. are called as data acquisition device that we will discuss afterwards. However, please understand the need for signal conditioning device. Correct. Here you can see the signal conditioning device that will change the pattern of the signal. So that will convert the signal in a desirable form. That can be reutilized. Re Correct? So for every type of system, signal conditioning devices are must. Can you give some examples of signal conditioning devices? One is amplifier and you can uh, leave the different type of uh, op amps, op amp ICs, all are called a signal conditioning device. Okay. So data acquisition we will discuss afterwards. Ultimately we will be connecting entire things to the computer okay for the different purposes recording uh, then uh, for transferring the information etc correct so do understand the need for signal conditioning device let us discuss about dc signal conditioning device first i would like to show you the basic block diagram of dc signal conditioning device dc signal conditioning device comprises of a transducer or a sensor then there is a bridge network which is provided by a DC supply, there will be a calibration and a zero crossing network and also we need a DC amplifier, remember that we require a DC amplifier, correct? To operate DC amplifier we should have a power supply, we need, a, we need to have a power supply unit. In order to remove the high frequency signals, obviously we need a uh, LPF, low pass filter. First in the foremost, the these are the quantities, it may be like uh, torque or it may be like uh, pressure or whatever it may be, correct? With the help of transducer, the non-electrical quantity is converted into electrical quantity. Here, you will be getting the electrical output, note this, okay. Now, the electrical output is connected to bridge, a bridge circuit. So, you know, the suppose the output may be AC, output of transducer that may be fluctuating or AC. Using the bridge network, it converts AC to DC, a bridge network, okay? Yeah, it is powered with the DC excitation source, there is a DC excitation. Afterwards, it is connected to the calibration network. So, proper calibration will be done and uh, checking the zero crossing network, passing through the co combination of calibration and zero crossing network. You must have heard about zero crossing detector, yes? Yeah. The signal need to be amplified. Therefore, we will be using a DC amplifier which improves the for which increase the amplitude. Clear? For suitable amplification will be done. In order to operate the DC amplifier, we need to provide a DC power supply. Uh, then, the output of amplifier which comprises of lot of high frequency signals and noises. That need to be filtered out before connecting to data acquisition devices or before connecting to the output. Right? So that uh, it should be filtered from high frequency signals. And so this is actually the whole information about DC signal conditioning device. I have written the explanation with the help of some uh, reference paper. Transducer output is given to the bridge. For example, strain gauge output. It is in the form of a resistor. Okay, uh, that net need to be net need to be given to bridge. 
low level signal can be given to amplifier right the amplifier output look at the diagram is passed to low pass filter to avoid high frequency signal and noises okay these are the basic structure of dc signal conditioning devices but there are few drawbacks such as drift issue because a uh, slow change in response the response change if you plot the response you can able to see that uh, change in response is very much less so that we need to have an improvement for that purpose we can go for ac signal condition devices on the opposite side there are lot of advantages such as high thermal stability uh, it is having high uh, common mode rejection ratio cmmr and easy to calibrate at low, very low frequencies recover recovery from overhead condition overloaded condition etc okay these are the advantages and disadvantages so dc systems are generally used to common resistance transducers such as potentiometers and resistances especially for uh, these kind of uh, sensors output will be treated by using these kind of dc signal condition devices so commonly you can use uh, like uh, strain gauges potentiometer etc okay that can be directly connected to dc signal conditioning devices so that is the purpose of dc signal conditioning devices but uh, the main issue we found as a drift okay problem of drift issue to get rid of that we will be using uh, ac signal conditioning device the main component of the signal conditioning devices like uh, we, we should we definitely we require a transducer then only output of transducer need to be conditioned right that is why we will be using signal conditioning devices we must have a bridge network obviously calibration and zero crossing network is required instead of dc amplifier we must have used ac amplifier here then phase sensitive detector is needed here and the lpf correct then in order to power ac amplifier and carrier oscillator we need to have a power supply unit and here you can see the uh, feedback path there is a feedback path is available from phase sensitive detector to bridge so in order to overcome the setbacks of dc signal condition devices we must use ac signal conditioning devices that's the purpose of using ac signal conditioning device but as far as the network concern it is a bit complicated compared to dc signal device complexity is more but uh, the slow response that can be mitigated by using ac signal conditioning devices the output of a transducer is applied to the bridge circuit as you can see here whose output is an amplitude of modulated uh, carrier signal correct the waveform is amplified by using ac amplifier through here okay after get, uh, passing through calibration network the signal that is getting amplified by using ac amplifier that is crystal clear here and also this amplified modulated output is then applied to the phase sensitive demodulator there is a phase sensitive demodulator so modulation and demodulation that is taking place exactly here okay the carrier signal definitely in order to perform the modulation and demodulation there, there should be a carrier oscillator correct this procedure a dc output that indicates the direction of parameter change the bridge output as you as i mentioned there is a feedback path you can able to see there is a feedback path ac systems are used for variable reluctance transducers uh, for the systems where signals have to be transmitted via long cables to connect the transducers to signal conditioning and the calibrating unit especially variable reluctance transducers lvdt uh, such kind of application you can able to use ac signal conditioning device this is the way how does ac signal conditioning device operate in this video we have discussed why signal conditioning devices are required with the help of a simple diagram and also i have explained the importance of data acquisition devices and mentioned the name of data acquisition devices afterwards i have discussed dc signal conditioning devices and ac signal conditioning devices separately with the help of a necessary block diagram uh, this is helpful for your exam point of view as well as interview and you need to have a good idea about this kind of uh, instrumentation system and uh, we discussed we have made a comparison between ac signal conditioning devices and dc signal conditioning devices let me know if you are having any questions related to this topic i am happy to answer that and if you particular if you mail me definitely i will revert uh, the with the notes I, if you require some notes whatever the presentation is there if you require the notes please do mail me definitely i will revert because few of my students they have already mailed i could not reply so once i get a good enough time definitely i will revert I regret for the inconvenience if i got delayed anyway i would like to thank you for Uh, listening my listen this lecture videos and uh, uh, i am very happy that you are supporting me continuously so let me conclude thank you